Proverbs chapter 5 verse 15. Drink waters out of thine own cistern, and running waters out of thine own well. Now this entire chapter is concerned with warnings about the harlot, and many have interpreted this literally. That's fine, a warning against sexual immorality never goes amiss, but there is an alternative interpretation. The harlot in scripture is false religion. This imagery is carried over into the New Testament, for instance, Revelation chapter 17. It's the extension of the Jezebel theme. Now, it's interesting that the feminine is prominent in paganism as it is in witchcraft. Modern day feminism is from the same root and not surprisingly, abortion features prominently the modern version of child sacrifice. Christians should also be aware of the present popularity of angels, especially when they are depicted as females. But back to the proverb. With the theme of false religion in mind, the instruction to drink waters out of thine own cistern and running waters out of thine own well clearly means that we are to take great care in these days where we are to receive our guidance and encouragement. Today, we need to be discerning more than ever, especially with the internet. We need to be as wise as serpents, Matthew 10, 16, because in the last days, perilous times will come. There will be wicked people who have a form of godliness, but deny its power from such people turn away. 2 Timothy 3, 1 to 5. Note that they have a form of godliness. They seem to be spiritually sound and so will be able to deceive many. Paul gives us some very blunt advice. Turn away from crooked teaching, from the cranks who are out there looking for the vulnerable. Now that's the negative aspect. This proverb gives the positive. Drink from your own system, the well of salvation. The first job is to turn away from lies, but we must turn back to our first love. Remember where and how you were saved. The freshness, the simplicity, the honesty and the joy of the true gospel. Beloved, we wander and get tangled up in the thorn bushes and lost in the winding ways. The loveliness that we saw at the beginning is the loveliness that awaits us always. I found a wad of notes recently that I had written when I hadn't long been a Christian. They were naive and a little too self-assured. But the evident wonder of being personally accepted by Jesus and known by him since before I was born gave me a pang of sadness because I had so often mislaid that childlikeness somewhere along the way. And God says to me, dear heart, drink waters out of thine own cistern and running waters out of thine own well again.